okay let us continue myself lufia assistant professor in csc department at jyoti engineering college chiradurthi today the 10th day of session 21 we have an eminent personality mr venkateswamy r who is assistant professor in triple department of christ deem christ deem to be university bangalore as we all know about him moreover here i would like to briefly figure out him Venkat Swami R received the bachelor degree in electrical engineering from SJCE Mysore and the master's degree in control and computing from IIT Bombay Mumbai Currently he works as an assistant professor in the electrical and electronic engineering department Christ University His research interests include the internet of things artificial intelligence smart grid and optimization techniques During his ten years of teaching tenure, he has guided UG and PG students. He has conducted the interdisciplinary workshops. Programs. He has presented and published papers in the national and international platform. He always believes in open source and free software. Hence, he promotes the free and open source tools in academia and the research. Here I would like to hand over this session to him so please welcome This session will continue until 6:30 pm after that you have a question and answer session you can ask your doubts regarding the session in chat box once again welcome sir uh, thank you uh, lufia madam uh, for this uh, nice introduction Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so, shall I start, madam? Yes, sir. You can start now. Uh, good evening, uh, all. So, myself as uh, Lu Lufia, madam said, Venkat uh, Swami working in uh, Department of Electrical and Electronics uh, Engineering. So, today I am here to present uh, uh, research publication typesetting uh, using uh, LaTeX. okay so uh, that is the topic uh, have been uh, assigned with so now uh, before starting uh, this particular session i just want uh, some quick uh, you know uh, survey and uh, about you i just want to understand the audience so i'll just post one uh, a poll so kindly uh, you know uh, just att attempt that particular poll okay i request all the participants uh, to attempt this, this particular poll so that i can understand uh, the you know audience okay uh, the poll is open now uh, i'll you know you, you can take 5 minutes and try to attempt uh, all the questions so there are some questions uh, you know it is a multiple choice questions so you just have to tick you know it's basically whether you heard of this word uh, latex uh, in past and uh, what kind of uh, tools you use uh, to make uh, your reports and uh, you know so do you have any you know prior experience in latex and uh, do you require any training uh, in latex are you working in uh, latex uh, in any uh, you know uh, preparations so i request all the participant to you know uh, give your uh, opinion another 3 minutes so the poll will stop
almost uh, 50 to 60 percent of the you know participants uh, uh, participated in the survey Last one minute, please give your uh, you know, opinion for these questions. It's a very uh, you know, simple question. Good that all the participants are you know, giving your opinion. Another 20 seconds, uh, try to finish. Okay. So another, you know, uh, 10 seconds remaining. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So let me showcase uh, the poll results, okay? So I asked, have you, uh, you know, uh, heard of this word LaTeX and uh, good that, you know, 46% of uh, the, you know, participant know about this LaTeX, okay, but uh, uh, among that, you know, 13% you know, never heard of this particular word, okay, so it's fine. And then I just asked uh, what kind of software you use to make a document. So majority of the first, you know, uh, participants use Microsoft Word. 50% uh, of the, you know, participants use Word. Okay, only 3% uh, are using LaTeX. Okay, so this is very important for us. Only 3% are using uh, the uh, LaTeX. And then I asked, uh, you know, uh, uh, what software uh, you use to make documents for conference paper, journal paper, and textbooks, and uh, you know. So 34% say Microsoft Word. Okay, good that 14% are using, uh, you know, uh, LaTeX. Okay, so to prepare their journal paper and conference paper. And then I asked, uh, so wh what is your level of understanding in LaTeX? Okay, basic, everybody uh, know. Okay, everybody know. Still, you know, 8% and 2% uh, uh, are in expert and intermediate stage. Okay, so 
and then i asked uh, you know have you undergone any training in past okay so yes 10% uh, already undergone training and 40% you know never undergone training okay so uh, that is also very important for this particular session and then i asked uh, you know are you learning latex by your own okay yeah 20% uh, of the you know participants have started learning latex by themselves it's a very good uh, you know uh, indicator it's a very good indicator and then i just asked whether you know whether you know the difference between the proprietary open source software yes they you people are aware of this that is good and then uh, what kind of operating system you use linux only 1% windows most 50% of uh, the participants are using uh, windows and then i asked uh, you know do you uh, know latex typesetting uh, yes uh, only 10% of the people know uh, typesetting another you know 40 80% of the candidates you know still they have to work on this particular you know tool and then i asked whether you use templates okay almost 80% you know not used templates okay so only 10% are using the templates it's good and then i asked whether you are planning to use latex for your thesis writing conference paper writing and for all other document preparation yes uh, you know uh, 30% of the participants are you know uh, striving to uh, write their document using latex and this session definitely helps uh, uh, that aspirants okay so whether you think this latex is a programming okay so 20% of the people are say yes and uh, you know another 20% say no okay 20% say not sure okay so mixed uh, type of opinion is there about latex so these are the questions i asked okay let me come back to my you know uh, presentation okay so uh, in today's uh, session so uh, it it will be kind of you know i have only 10 uh, uh, slide in that you know only uh, six slides are you know actual content and uh, i will be uh, giving some uh, you know concept of this particular latex then i will demonstrate uh, this particular latex tool so that you know you will get some idea okay so idea of this particular latex tool so how the document uh, will be prepared using this particular latex tool so that kind of you know uh, uh, intuition uh, i'll just uh, try to provide so in this session is just gives the overview of this particular latex toolbox okay so we are not uh, you know uh, having any hands on uh, session so but we will uh, you know cover some concept and then we'll you know i'll demonstrate some you know uh, research writing using latex okay so later on we can take up in a uh, uh, you know in other uh, stage okay so uh, i'll introduce latex then what what are the things you need to uh, you know have uh, to work on latex and then let us uh, let me demonstrate one article for you okay so then uh, we'll see what kind of uh, you know uh, templates are there okay so we'll take some template and we'll work on that particular template like ieee uh, journal template conference template or uh, you know springer will templates so we'll work on some template and then we'll see how uh, you know we can associate uh, among ourselves so that we can you know uh, learn okay so we can uh, you know train others we can learn from each other so let us have some uh, kind of association so let us build a team okay so that is also one uh, objective i just kept then what are the templates we prepared from christ and city and that is only for reference and uh, you know i'll just provide some reference materials so these are the uh, you know items what i'll discuss today so uh, coming to this uh, you know uh, latex okay so for your information latex is a uh, is is a you know uh, type ses type setting system okay so this is basically uh, developed by donald knu okay so he is basically mathematician so earlier in his uh, uh, you know time so there was no tool to write equations he was struggling how, how i can represent uh, equation in a you know printed form so he is struggling to make that kind of you know uh, issues so then he thought of building some kind of you know uh, uh, software so wherein he can nicely project uh, or present the equation in that direction donald knut uh, worked on this particular uh, uh, tech system and he successfully built one tool okay so that is how it evolved and then uh, there is one lady called lashley okay so she implemented uh, 
uh, on top of this tech system and uh, then she introduced the latex so this latex is a high uh, quality type setting system okay so it's basically document preparation software like microsoft word open office or LibreOffice or google doc uh, like this okay so uh, so this is basically document preparation software okay so now uh, you know, everybody is familiar with uh, the uh, you know microsoft word so uh, this latex also does uh, you know equally uh, you know are, are you know better than uh, the microsoft word okay so that is what the latex is okay so then uh, what 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 you can uh, do using latex so using latex you can prepare textbooks you can prepare your thesis your phd thesis you can prepare any kind of reports maybe annual report progress report uh, or uh, no proposal report something like that and you can prepare journal articles okay and you can prepare conference paper and you can prepare presentation okay so this presentation what you are seeing is basically prepared using latex okay and you can prepare posters resume assignment whatnot okay so and, and almost all the all kind of documents you can prepare using latex similar to microsoft word so you are experienced uh, using word but uh, you know uh, it's a time uh, for us to, to you know uh, start uh, using this particular latex tool okay so latex is basically open source and free okay so unlike uh, your microsoft office wherein uh, you have to pay something somewhere around uh, 100 dollars plus okay to you know purchase that proprietary software and uh, you know uh, uh, and also you have to purchase microsoft uh, uh, I mean windows okay so that will be around uh, 200 plus dollars okay so you have to invest a lot of money on uh, this document preparation software okay so whereas uh, latex is basically open source and uh, free software okay and uh, this operate this is basically operating in a uh, system independent okay you can work on Linux you can work on Windows you can work on Mac machine so complete uh, portability is there okay so you can use it anywhere and uh, then uh, scalability scalability uh, is basically you can prepare a simple document you can prepare a complex document the effort goes in uh, for the preparation of the document is same okay so scalability is uh, you know very good in uh, the you know uh, uh, latex okay normally you see when you are preparing document in word whenever the you know document is large then the uh, the latency will be high okay so uh, so that kind of problem will not be there in latex okay the quality uh, is very high okay uh, quality and stability uh, is very high in uh, latex so that means you know uh, you will get high quality of the content like you know figures okay our equations are the content itself okay so it will align and it will you know uh, uh, sit in a given uh, space uh, you know with the high uh, resolution high in, in uh, high quality okay so and this latex you know one thing what you have to understand here is basically many people spend their time in preparation of what uh, you know some cosmetic works so like you know how to align how to put border you know uh, make it bold italic something like that so now you you just experience to prepare one simple letter 50 percent of your effort goes to prepare your format and another 50 percent uh, will go uh, to uh, you know put your content so now uh, this latex is basically content focused okay format you no need to worry so format is already available you take that format you just put your content only you have to uh, give your 50 percent effort in the preparation of document that is one uh, no beautiful uh, feature what you have in latex got it so whereas in other uh, document preparation software you have to uh, focus on the format as well as the content and you know you just have to unnecessarily spend your time and effort so that is what uh, the uh, one advantage of this particular latex okay and this is basically author friendly okay so uh, so you you have a control over your entire document okay so uh, it's not there is no restrictions uh, in the you know uh, uh, document preparation that is what you have to understand and uh, one more uh, reason okay what you know uh, uh, latex is postering is that you know all world class universities are, are adopting okay universities and institutions are adopting uh, this particular latex for the preparation of all the document if you see mit oxford you know all this uh, 
well known world class universities uh, they have started uh, you know uh, they it is mandatory for all the you know students to prepare uh, their uh, you know theses uh, or uh, you know textbooks or any project report or or, or uh, you know uh, simple assignment also they are preparing using uh, uh, late for that they have prepared all the templates uh, and it is uh, you know uh, already available in the uh, you know uh, open forum okay so you can take and you can refer that so uh, of course uh, now here we you know uh, uh, three universities are sitting okay christ university and uh, you know uh, jyoti engineering college and uh, you know uh, um penta bansa university okay so uh, so we all you know should uh, you know uh, direct ourselves uh, uh, you know uh, uh, using this particular uh, latex tool okay so that is also one intention and one more thing what you have to understand uh, in latex is that see uh, it is basically you know uh, the uh, the people are uh, you know uh, trained in in their maybe in their uh, uh, school days maybe in fifth standard or sixth standard they uh, you know they trained with uh, say uh, they started with paint then uh, word is introduced notepad is introduced all microsoft products are introduced at the age of 5 and then when you become uh, you know 10th standard uh, you know uh, then you started using uh, you know word uh, more and more and then we, when you come to engineering you know for everything you started using uh, uh, microsoft word and you never thought you never saw any other best alternative so that is what is happening in the current society nobody is looking at some best alternatives so and it's just kind of addiction okay so uh, as an individual i just learned microsoft word okay institution will purchase microsoft word because i, I all the individuals only know word and companies will procure Uh, because all employees uh, know only word so that's why you know this uh, uh, you know the uh, people are going in that particular uh, you know direction somewhere we have to uh, you know uh, take a shift and uh, you know we have to move towards this particular open source and free uh, you know uh, tool okay so and uh, you know uh, people have done a lot of survey and comparison they uh, uh, this is basically proven uh, tool okay compare uh, proven best tool compared to other you know documentation please uh, just uh, uh, you know just uh, try to use this particular uh, latex from now onwards and uh, uh, you know just to come out of the particular you know uh, kind of addiction of uh, microsoft word because you know it's a social aspect you know why we have to spend that much of money we can uh, you know in, uh, in, uh, we can you know use that particular money for some other uh, you know good works so instead of spending a lot of money for only you know uh, microsoft project or proprietary software so that is one uh, you know suggestion i i just uh, like to make in this particular forum okay so uh, it's it's very high time so now uh, what uh, how to start okay so yeah i know, i heard of latex now okay so it's good okay so all world class universities are using okay yes uh, i have to use uh, uh, latex so then uh, Uh, you, you there are two options are there one is uh, online platform okay uh, cloud platforms okay so basically uh, software in uh, the internet and other option is basically offline setup so you have to install you have to install in your machine and you have to work okay so this is the two options what you have so uh, if you have a good internet connectivity and all those things you can go for this uh, you know uh, online platform so otherwise you can uh, definitely install uh, you know offline uh, tools okay so now that the, this these are the two options okay so now i'll just showcase uh, you know what what are the softwares you have to install so so if you want to work on uh, latex okay two softwares are required okay so Uh, offline setup i am just telling offline setup what you have to install in your uh, laptop or machine okay so one is uh, tech live or mac tech okay this is the one back end software what you have to install in your machine so here i i have written tech live or mac tech okay tech live is for linux and windows and mac tech for mac machine okay so this is basically the back end software okay so you can get that particular software uh, from this particular url okay so this is the url okay so if you go to this particular url you will find that particular software so here uh, 4gb software is there okay so this is the 4gb software you can download this software and it is simple uh, you know uh, 
uh, installation procedure you just have to click next 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 uh, something just uh, the, give the path uh, in that particular path the software will install so one is uh, it will uh, uh, almost it will take uh, you know uh, one hour to install in your machine the second software what you have to install is basically uh, front end okay so uh, tech live is basically the back end and then uh, tech studio uh, and a lot of other uh, front ends are there like tech studio tech maker okay a lot of other uh, you know uh, front ends are there you can use any front end that is uh, you know uh, not a problem so this tech studio is basically a very good uh, uh, front end so you can download this and you can install in your machine okay so these are the two softwares what you have to install in your machine to uh, you know to start uh, working on your so uh, are you seeing my screen uh, the participants we can see sir okay you can see now yeah yeah thank you thank you so these two softwares you have to install in your machine okay so that is the pre uh, uh, preliminary work what you have to do okay so then second option is basically uh, the, uh no uh, i don't want to install in my machine okay so uh, my internet connectivity is good then what you can do you can uh, go to this uh, url okay so uh, if you use this particular url so this is basically online tool okay so if you use this particular you know uh, site overleaf.com okay so you just have to type overleaf.com so this is the online platform so using the you just have to register here very simple procedure you just have to uh, register here and after registration okay so in the browser itself you will see that particular software okay so it's uh, as simple as that okay so you can open that particular software and you can start editing and you can uh, start modifying your uh, you know work okay so these are the two options what you have okay like it is like a google doc so google doc is basically in online right similarly your microsoft word is offline tool okay so in the same way so you have two options one is installing in uh, the uh, you know in your machine and uh, making uh, you know uh, utilization of online platforms okay so these are the two options what you have okay so the, so then these two things you have to install okay so this is the first step what you have to do so the second one you see uh, this is very crucial thing so uh, if you want to start uh, uh, latex okay so uh, do you require anything to learn before starting this you know it looks like some kind of programming language and all okay when you see that particular thing it looks like some script program or something like that it's actually not that okay so it, the programming skill and our logical skill is not required to work on latex okay prerequisites is zero okay so anybody can start latex at any point even the, the at school level also uh, you know one can work on this particular latex so the prerequisite is nothing and initially okay so i know the, you know i told you know microsoft word is you know people are just addicted okay to you know to break that barrier and to make this uh, you know to use this particular latex some patience is required initially you will face some you know the repulsion okay this tool is very complex so uh, so don't worry about that just uh, you know keep using this particular tool one one day you will you know definitely become a promoter like me okay so initially i just faced lot of problem i know i started using this particular latex almost uh, you know 15 years back okay at that particular time it was very complex i need to write hundreds of uh, command to generate one report now it is you know, on click of one button you know uh, everything is happening so that kind of uh, you know state we are in so that's why uh, just uh, so see the possibility of using this particular latex you know the one advantage of this particular latex is see uh, microsoft word whenever the complexity of the document increases okay you can you know you will struggle a lot okay so uh, and in case of latex the effort is almost constant you want to make a, a simple letter okay same template same you know same procedure and uh, you want to make a textbook okay complex document procedure is same you put a content and just compile it you will get the same effort required is almost constant okay so that is what you have to understand so now don't afraid of this particular latex and uh, no don't uh, 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 no uh, think that latex is difficult it's very easy tool very very easy tool okay so that uh, with that you just start and then uh so then what what exactly this i, I already told uh, it's basically content focused 
LaTeX is basically content focused. And what we have to know in any document, okay, so if I ask that particular question, okay, so basically uh, this kind of uh, content will be there. I may have some text, I may have some sectioning, okay, I may have some bullets and numbering, and I may have some figures, tables, equations, or references. Okay, so this these are the standard uh, you know content what you will find in any uh, you know document. It may be textbook or it may be uh, you know uh, journal paper, any any anything. Okay, so and these are the content. So that content is basically your work. And then second one is basically the structure. Okay, so the structure of the document and uh, uh, using the structure they build some templates. Okay, you just have to take that particular template, you put your content, your document is ready. Okay, so that is how it works. So now uh, you, you just have to you know uh, experience. See now the thing is uh, there are two stages. One is uh, you know uh, working on LaTeX from scratch from zero. Okay, so using the basic template and all, it's uh, you just have to start with that. And after gaining some confidence, leave it and just started start using the template. So that is how uh, uh, this particular uh, LaTeX works. So don't uh, just uh, simply work on the uh, basic itself. So just attain some knowledge, confidence in the basics and then shift to, uh, you know, uh, the templates. Then it's, it's you know, you can uh, develop any document. Okay, so that is how uh, it works. Fine. So at this particular point, I'll quickly demonstrate. Okay. So how, you know, document uh, you can uh, build using uh, this particular LaTeX, you know, very quickly. Okay. So now I'll, I'll just see here. Uh, now, so after installation of those two software. Okay. So two, two software I told you, not Tech Studio front end, Tech Live back end. These two software you have to install. Okay. So in your machine. So after installation of this particular, uh, you know, uh, software, so what you have to do, so just uh, quickly, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, build one simple document, you see. So uh, this is basically the structure of, uh, you know, uh, the uh, LaTeX document. No need to worry. So uh, this is basically, you know, uh, defines, uh, you know, uh, what kind of uh, document it is, article type. This, this is called some kind of, you know, preamble of uh, the document and uh, begin document, end document. Inside that, you have, you just have to put some content you just have to put some content. So that is basically the structure of document. These are all some, you know, uh, some libraries what you have to, uh, you know, import if, if it is required. Then I'll just see, I'll, I, I just share this particular, uh, you know, notepad. Okay, say for example, you want to put st some, you know, uh, section. Okay, so then what you can uh, do. So I'll just uh, take this particular, you know, uh, uh, this one. So what I'll do, okay, so basically, I just want to make, you know, uh, take this particular about this FTP. So this is my one section. Okay, so I'll just keep that one about this section. Then I'll just put uh, that particular content. You just see, I'm just, uh, you know, doing some kind of uh, uh, copy paste work. Okay. So now you see here, I just pasted this one. I just uh, saved with some name. Okay. So, and uh, then I'm just compiling. Okay. I'm just compiling. I'm just compiling, you see. So now can you see, after this, your document will look like this. So can you see on my uh, right hand side? So your document will look like this. Okay, so similarly, uh, you can, uh, you know, you can uh, include, uh, you, if you want to include title and all. Okay, so if you make, you know, okay, so if you include the, this one, so all the title and author name, Okay, everything will come. So even you can uh, provide uh, the title. Okay, so title maybe you know uh, I am just giving that as FDP. Okay, so FDP. So can you see here? So now one article is already already I am preparing. Okay, so about this one, if I want to include one more section, okay, so I can include. Say for example, I, I just want to include uh, some you know uh, some kind of uh, table. Okay, so just put uh, some uh, section as table. And uh, I'll just share this particular, you know, uh, sample code. Okay, so this sample code I'll share and uh, you can make use of this one and you can practice. Okay, so uh, you see here. So uh, I'm just, you know, 
uh, creating you know uh, table okay some to uh, keep any content there will be some standard script okay you just have to copy paste that particular uh, script and you just have to make some uh, modification okay so say for example you want to put uh, you know some kind of uh, uh, bullets and numbering okay so uh, enumerated item itemized content so then what you can do you can uh, you know you can keep this and uh, this kind of you know uh, recursive enumeration and numbering you can uh, keep in your document you see here so now i just uh, you know included some uh, uh, text i included tables i included uh, bullets okay so if you want to make some text bold then what you can do you can uh, control b you can do so then that particular text will become bold like that you can you can make some you know uh, modifications now like that you can generate uh, uh, you know uh, the you know uh, article okay so a uh, lot of other uh, items are there like you know if you want uh, uh, you know say numbering okay so instead of the itemize if you want uh, the numbering so you can have one more section okay section name is basically numbering okay numbering and then you know compile it you see uh, i'm just keeping some content i'm just clicking on this particular button okay i'm getting uh, the document okay my output is uh, coming so similarly you can keep uh, you know uh, in uh, you know, different types of you can uh, keep uh, the equations okay so if i want to keep equations let me uh, keep one uh, sample equation okay so section title is equation i am just kept one uh, uh, equation in my content okay so it's basically copy paste okay so now you see here now when you see this particular output okay so equation is also coming okay equation is also coming so uh, different types of content uh, you can put it in your uh, you know uh, document you can put, you know so all other uh, other things are there i just wanted to showcase uh, a first document how you can you know uh, generate using latex so if you come uh, to the you know uh, uh, if you come to the uh, main uh, you know directory where you are working okay so you just visit that particular directory so and you will see that one pdf document will be created okay so this is basically the output okay this is basically the output so in this uh, two three minutes what we have done we have prepared one article okay a simple article using latex okay so we have used tech live and tech studio as a front end uh, and back end and front end and uh, then we we use some you know uh, content script and we pasted there and we are getting this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, document okay so article like that you know you now just you can visualize now you are writing a uh, thesis or article so what kind of content will come there it's basically some text table or some you know bullets numbering and something like that so basically the same thing what i did now the same thing you may have to uh, replicate there also so uh, it's very easy to generate uh, any document using uh, a latex yeah how do you edit the content in the latex say for example i you know you just have to go to uh, this particular source okay and say for example here you want to uh, you know instead of uh, uh, important you just want to make vital okay just uh, modify that particular uh, content and again compile it okay so after compilation okay so you can see that modi modifications will reflect in the document okay so now uh, uh, i'll tell you this uh, learning latex uh, with hands on required some kind of a day or two okay a day or two uh, required okay so what i am showing now is just some kind of you know, uh, uh, you know overview okay so those who are new to latex okay they should have some intuition how oh, okay this latex works like this so that kind of you know intuition they should have uh, and then they should uh, be you know they should uh, you know uh, proceed with uh, you know using this particular latex that is the only objective of showing this particular uh, demonstration okay so then yeah yeah i'll come to the i'll come to that one so uh, what i showed just now is basically preparation of the uh, some uh, simple document okay so now we are done with this okay so we uh, we know how to we know the structure of the latex and uh, you know how it looks like and we have to keep some content in the inside that particular you know structure and then we just have to compile we will get the uh, pdf document as a output and these are the standard content what you will keep in your document okay 
now uh, now uh, we have to uh, see what options uh, research scholars have in latex okay it is must so if you see the pattern okay so worldwide all research scholars are using latex for everything for their thesis writing okay for their uh, you know journal conference paper writing and all those things and even if you visit many of the uh, journal uh, journal publishers and uh, conference hosting uh, uh, you know uh, authorities they always they are expecting you to prepare your document using latex okay so it's very important you have done wonderful work innovation and invention you have done lot of good work so presentation you are presenting your work to the world correct you are presenting your work to the world and you have to present that work in a better way okay so one should really appreciate the way in which you have presented latex will do that okay definitely a person who prepared the document using some other document processor or uh, you know the person uh, uh, who used latex there is a lot of difference will be there and the people will definitely appreciate if you prepare your journal paper conference paper thesis using the latex tool so that is what uh, why the research scholar has to take up this latex immediately maybe at the beginning itself okay at the beginning itself they have to start using this latex then definitely after maybe 3 months or something like that they will become expert in latex so don't wait and uh, even if you are a you know supervisors uh, you know please encourage your uh, students to take up uh, you know uh, latex okay so for the, all their work okay so they have to uh, practice this and uh, you know uh, uh, by the course of learning you know uh, supervisors and uh, students both will learn this particular uh, you know, latex tool okay so please uh, all the guides increase the latex tool and uh, see it's basically now i already told you no need to prepare a document how i prepared from scratch it's not like that you just have to search template and download okay and put your content directly okay that's simple step okay so you no need to prepare anything uh, no structure is no no need to worry about all these things i'll just demonstrate some uh, some uh, some few things okay so uh, before that i'll just uh, take up some uh, questions yes it header footers yes you can include uh, header footer so that uh, that option is there content edition i already told yes so uh, this learning you know lot of documents tutorials are available in uh, the uh, you know uh, the open forum okay uh, lot of materials are available even uh, we are trying to make a team uh, team uh, for learning so i'll just uh, uh, you know discuss that with you yes a page size everything you can define it in the preamble part so animations uh, no okay it's 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 uh, this latex is meant to prepare a scientific and professional document conversion okay so uh, don't think of converting word to latex latex word because latex output is pdf don't expect uh, the pdf to convert back to word that uh, don't think in that direction you absolutely think uh, Uh, you know whether you have to work in latex or word uh, no so that conversion definitely won't happen 100% so whenever you convert from pdf to word okay I'll, I'll always you will miss yes so video uh, you know standard thesis template so i have i have uh, you know even for christ university also we made template i'll share i'll share and i showcase that also okay so uh this is what uh, the research scholars should know so they have to take templates and they have to work on that particular templates they have to keep their content okay so let me uh, you know showcase some template how the template looks like so uh, what you will do you normally you will take the uh, you know uh, you know when you see when you type uh, you know in google if you type something like you know uh, i triple e you know uh, journal uh, latex template okay just type that that one and immediately that will land up in the uh, selection part you see here uh, i triple e latex template and you see uh, now uh, this template selector they have done very beautifully the i triple e and they are asking what kind of do document you want to prepare okay uh, journal then what publi uh, publications maybe access okay open uh, i triple e access is open then original research then what kind of format here this is this is where you have to observe so there are both formats uh, formats are there word and uh, tech 
So here, what you have to do, you just have to click on the uh, LaTeX template and you just have to download. Okay. So for all the chapters and uh, transactions, they have their own uh, format. You just have to download that particular uh, template. So this is basically zip file. Okay. This is basically zip file. When you unzip that particular document, okay, you will see this kind of, uh, you know, uh, content and uh, I, I am just open. I'll just open one uh, simple uh, IEEE journal format. Okay. So I'll just compile. Okay. I'll just compile. Now, can you see here? Okay, so some, uh, can you see here? So this is basically uh, the compiled one. So now I'll, what I'll do, I'll just uh, showcase a simple, you know, uh, template, plain template. So what IEEE provides, and this is basically IEEE template. Now you can see here, this is simply empty, empty, empty template. And if you want to work on this particular template, and it's just copy paste, if, if you have a content with you, okay, if you have a content with you, then you just have to copy paste your content. Okay, so I told you now, so it may be uh, any one of this content, it may be table, enumeration, or, you know, equations or something like that. So uh, you just have to, uh, you know, uh, paste, paste your content in the, uh, in this particular uh, the empty, empty file. Okay, so just uh, go to appropriate uh, place where the title uh, you want to append. So now I'm just scrolling down. So here uh, they are mentioning uh, to keep the uh, title. Okay, so title, so title is basically present. Okay, here, okay, so title is here. Now what I'll do, I'll just paste that one. And uh, you want to, you know, give the author name. So just give author name. Okay, so maybe, you know, Venkata Swami like this. Okay, so then I just give the author name, then I, I want to keep my ab abstract. So then go to abstract section. So uh, whatever abstract you have in, uh, you know, uh, you have, so you just uh, copy that abstract. It may be in, in, in your world or some, somewhere else. So copy that one and just uh, compile. Okay, so just compile that particular document. Then uh, that IEEE, uh, you know, uh, journal format will automatically, you know, uh, create that particular two uh, column format. Okay, you just have to copy paste your content in the appropriate places. That's all. So now from here onwards, you just have to, you know, uh, keep your uh, content. Say, for example, from introduction, so you have some content. So copy the, some, that uh, introduction content, come to this empty, uh, this one and paste it and just, uh, you know, uh, keep those contents in the uh, empty template. So like this it works. So you just have to uh, take the templates. Okay, you just have to uh, download that particular template and you just add, keep adding that particular, uh, you know, content inside that particular template and you will get the uh, paper. Okay, so you will get the paper and uh, then ultimately, you know, uh, I'll just uh, showcase when you uh, keep, uh, you know, add all these templates in the, you know, uh, uh, template, uh, add all the content in the template. So this kind of document you will get. Okay, so can you see here? So I just compiled, uh, you know, uh, I added content and I, I just produced IEEE, uh, you know, uh, document. So this looks like this. Okay, so uh, now if you, I mean, assume that you apply to IEEE journal, uh, now somehow uh, that uh, journal may not be suitable for your work and immediately you want to shift to some other journal. Then what happens here, you, you know, maybe a uh, different journal. Okay, so what you have to do, you just have to download the template uh, journal, maybe elsewhere journal or uh, Springer, Ville, anything. Then here, only you have to do copy paste. So from the introduction, whatever you have, just copy paste that introduction from here. Then what happens, your uh, elsewhere journal will be ready. Okay, so you don't need to think about anything else. Automatically that formatting, it will take care uh, by itself say you know you, you got it right so lfr journal will generate by itself so that is how you have to work on the uh, template so similarly uh, you have you know you can you can uh, you can see different and uh, all these templates will be provided by publishers okay if you visit uh, you now springer website they have their own template for every uh, journal uh, you know similarly you just have to download this template from the publishers okay so that is one thing what you have to uh, remember Okay, so after downloading, you just have to keep all your content in that particular uh, journal. That is how it works. Okay.
So any, any questions uh, uh, up till now? So uh, with respect to uh, a template and uh, IEEE journal, Where where the document is saved? So the the sir, there are two questions. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So would you like to answer now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. I'll take up. Uh, uh -huh. One question is: uh, Can I be able to write by using Overleaf? Is my document safe? Yes. Yes. I'll answer to that question. So uh, Overleaf is just online version. Okay. So it's uh, you know privacy is there. Okay. So you just have to you know upload your document to overleaf and you can see uh, most uh, many documents are there in my overleaf account and uh, say if i you know if i want to compile my document okay so i can i can upload to overleaf and i can compile now you see i am compiling one report uh, from my uh, vtech students ug students and uh, you know uh, it will you know appear the compiled version will appear uh, here i can download and the best part of this particular you know, overleaf is that even uh, they can uh, you know uh, you know the guide our students can you know collaboratively they can work okay so if you share this link okay so uh, the you know guide can see what students are preparing okay if it is online tool they can't do but a lot of security is there so with respect to security so a lot of uh, protection is there for your data so this data will not be shared to any other platform Okay, so uh, it's uh, both are equal, you know, using uh, online platform as well as uh, using offline tool, both are uh, same. Yes, sir. Uh, so the next question, if we put percentage or ohm symbol, yes, uh, sir. will it be feasible because there's some technical error sometimes it shows? Yeah, so now uh, it's basically what you're telling is basically percentage is always considered as a commenter comment in uh, latex okay so so whatever you uh, write after percentage symbol that will be considered as a comment and uh, it you know uh, that content will be you know ignored so uh, whenever you are using percentage symbol uh, if you want to use percentage symbol in your content you just have to use uh, backlash with percentage symbol then that percentage symbol will appear Hope, uh, uh, i answered uh, your question radhika Yes, so the next before you go on to your presentation, can LaTeX file be used to check plagiarism? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, so this LaTeX produces PDF document. Okay. So uh, any PDF document you can upload to any plagiarism software like Turnitin, okay, or Urkund or any other uh, you know plagiarism check software. So uh, definitely, this uh, you know LaTeX output that PDF can also be used. Uh, uh, for the plagiarism check, so it's pro it produces PDF document. Uh, thank you. Sir. The questions. Uh, you can continue your presentations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, this is basically IEEE uh, template. Uh, you know, I was discussing about IEEE template, and uh, you know, uh, it, you know, as a researcher, uh, now it's your uh, responsibility to download LaTeX template. And try, try to put your content to this, uh, you know, uh, you know, journals or you know, conference papers or any other uh, templates. And if you want, uh, you know, more templates, so you know, you just search, uh, you know, uh, Overleaf templates. Okay, so you see here, you know, a lot of templates are available. So you just name anything. All those kind of templates, academic journal templates are there. Okay, books templates are there. Okay, uh, formal letters, presentation, thesis templates, and uh, if you see the universities uh, which are collaborating, collaboratively doing, okay, so you can see the number of universities which are working are uh, already, uh, you know, uh, uh, kept their, uh, you know, templates in this particular repository. Almost all universities have their uh, templates. So now it's high time for us to, you know, uh, keep our templates. Okay, so Christ University should have all, uh, you know, thesis template, master, uh, you know, the uh, report template, all the template we should have and we have to upload here. Similarly, uh, Jyoti Engineering College and uh, the, you know, uh, 
PBU uh, should also create templates, develop templates, and they have to make mandatory for all the research scholars and uh, you know UGPG students uh, to you know uh, start uh, to prepare their uh, documents. So that is basically the need of an hour. And uh, here, if, you know, one can take this one and they can prepare. Uh, you know, uh, these templates are already available. Say, for example, I I want uh, you know prepare my resume. Okay, so click on resume. Just it, it's uh, it's a matter of you know uh, ten minutes or something like that. So you now I just like this particular template. Okay, take this template and uh, then open template. So it will directly uh, open this particular template using the uh, overleaf. Okay, so then after opening, just uh, come down and start uh, editing that particular you know uh, content. Say for example, you know here uh, it is you know it's compiling. So I in in place of uh, you know the default name, I just have to put my name. So let it compile. So it's loaded, and you just have to edit uh, this script. Okay, script is only some uh, five to ten scripts are there. Uh, you know, uh, not uh, too many scripts. Only few scripts are there. You, you we just have to you know uh, run around uh, those scripts only. So it's not a programming language where you have to you know use lot of complex logic to build your program. It's not like that. So some script you just put it in your notepad so that will work. Okay. So say for example here, uh, I just want to build my uh, document. Say for example, I'll start with uh, this. Okay. So. I'll edit, uh, you know, from here. So, uh, we just have to you know uh, uh, trace, you know, this particular content. Okay, so from where we have to start and all. Okay, so you can you can you see here just start editing from here like this, you know. So I just uh, written my name and I just compile like that, you know. Just keep modifying this content uh, and just see how that you know output looks like. So like that, you know, template how you are using. I am not worried about that line where that name is coming, where the photo is coming. All those things I am not worrying. But simply when I feed the content, the res it will prepare the resume. Similarly. So you have lot of templates, lot of you know simple uh, to complex templates uh, available in the in this particular place. You can download and you can use. Okay, so that you just uh, remember. I'll share that uh, link also. Okay, so uh, research scholar, uh, you know, they should start practicing this LaTeX and they have to prepare all the you know their documents using LaTeX. Okay, so uh, it uh, you know uh, it is very professional. I uh, know so it look good and people will appreciate. Okay. So if I if a university want to you know uh, 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 proceed further, okay. So in the direction of world class, then they should uh, you know uh, abide to these uh, you know best practices. Okay. So then uh, the the second part is this. So now I am just uh, you know uh, inviting. Okay. So uh, inviting and I just made a group. Okay. So uh, basically. Uh, So I just started this group. Okay, so I just want to, you know, so because this in this particular LaTeX help is required, and many expertise are there. You know, they can they can also contribute. Okay, so in that particular direction, I just you know we are just initiating this. So let us make a group. Okay, so inter university group. You know, let us you know come together and you know whoever. Uh, want uh, support okay so let the trainers are those who already know latex can give support to them okay so uh, in that direction so i mean it can be a, a researcher it can be students it can be you know teacher professor you know all the people you know let us have one uh, group and then let us you know uh, you know encourage students to use this latex and also, let us give some uh, training for them. Okay, so basic training, intermediate training, advanced training. Okay, and also let us uh, create a templates for the universities. Okay, so that is also very important. So let us have a team uh, who is expert in LaTeX can create a template for the universities. 
and also you know uh, if any queries are there you know among ourselves so can one can give the solution okay so that kind of participation also we can do okay so uh, in that direction you know and also you see uh, you know uh, somebody asking for uh, uh, how to learn okay so let us uh, you know already let us create youtube uh, channel uh, you know and uh, let us put all our uh, you know uh, videos there okay and uh, if, you know let others use and let us have some uh, you know mooc courses on this okay so uh, we can we can have some uh, you know the inter university you know mooc courses we can you know create develop and we can facilitate to uh, some uh, members or uh, the users or students or whoever required so and also for our synchronous learning we can create uh, the classrooms okay so in that way you know we can you know we can encourage uh, everyone to use this particular you know uh, uh, latex okay and also uh, you know let us you know uh, you know uh, make many events like this okay so workshop trainings you know so that you know uh, it's uh, will will be promoting uh, you know the uh, latex in that particular direction okay so i given three uh, you know uh, links i say for example you can join as a member uh, you just want to use latex okay you have some issues in latex and you can join as a member if you want to uh, join as a facilitator uh, you know i'll share the link just join as a facilitator you can contribute to this particular research uh, you know uh, fraternity and also if you are a coordinator if you want to set up your own uh, you know uh, team latex team in your uh, you know university so please uh, you know start so we are you know we can work uh, together in you know in learning and building this particular latex among ourselves so uh, i'll just share that particular link to you just uh, please uh, please do uh, respond and uh, let's see where it it will come okay so it's i'm just uh, you know seeing this you know a long time association you know it's not just uh, you know for giving some seminar and stopping here because you know uh, in one hour i already told we can't cover so lot of help lot of support is required uh, you know in uh, latex so let us facilitate uh, or you know let us learn okay and uh, you know uh, let us build uh, you know required content uh, for the universities so then definitely you know uh, uh, you know the the accreditation uh, you know uh, the uh, committee or any other uh, people definitely they will appreciate okay so uh, this is my request and uh, then uh, latex templates uh, 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 we have already prepared and i'll share this one i already uploaded in github uh, and uh, say uh, phd thesis template and uh, uh, you know vtu templates and uh, uh, many uh, you know project report template pro you know many things i developed and it is mandatory in christ university i really uh, you know, uh, appreciate uh, you know and thank uh, you know dr ivan jos uh, for taking that initiation and he he you know his vision is uh, that you know whatever report we produce it should be uh, it should be have it should have very high quality in that direction he motivated us and we developed a template for our university and everybody is using latex so we want uh, uh, you know all of us uh, should use this latex in the preparation of all the document whatever we do especially research okay so journal paper conference paper so uh, just use latex okay for the, your thesis okay never use any other things latex is should be the only option just compare yourself with other universities whatever they are using maybe iits nits or uh, you know some other world class universities there uh, you know uh, the reports will be you know it, it looks very awesome the quality is very high okay so present uh, those things okay so uh, and then uh, these are the resources some uh, you know uh, open source textbooks are there and uh, where you can take assistance lot of groups are there okay so you just type anything in the google you will get a support okay so it's not something like that you won't get any support for everything you have a support so uh, in that direction so uh, just start working on this particular later and in case uh, uh, if you have any you know uh, issues or if you want to uh, start anything okay so community so we can work together so that with that uh, uh, you know uh, i thank you all so if you have any questions please do ask and uh, i you know so definitely you know uh, interested uh, members can approach your universities 
and we can make a team and we can uh, you know have some MOOC courses or training modules and uh, we can learn together okay so that is required okay so at, at the end of the day okay so somewhere we have to promote uh, free and open source okay so some proprietary software we have to uh, you know we, we should stop using the proprietary software and uh, you know uh, that money can be used somewhere else maybe societal uh, uh, you know uh, aspects okay so uh, this huge money we should not uh, uh, you know invest on this uh, you know simple tools where we have other best tools you know uh, in store and uh, one more, more thing you know you can see uh, many people are you know working in this direction so there is one person called Richard Stallman so he's uh, basically the founder of Free Software Foundation. He always uh, encourage uh, you know uh, 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 the, all the people to use uh, open source software. Okay, so uh, you know, that's why you know uh, we we should also aim for that. Okay, so if you start using proprietary, you know uh, we'll end up in uh, wrong uh, you know place and. Uh, uh, it's not good uh, for the society okay so with that uh, i just uh, uh, conclude here so if you have any questions uh, i i just want uh, your uh, you know suggestions or anything it's very less time to convey uh, many things but uh, uh, just i tried my level best to uh, to give justice to uh, both beginners as well as intermediate uh, uh, learners So now what I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a link, okay, so uh, a Google folder uh, link. So in this particular Google Drive, I uploaded my presentation, the LaTeX source code and IEEE uh, journal, Villa journal and Springer journal and all the journal templates, I just kept it in this particular Google Drive and in the PPT itself, all the links are available and uh, and you know say uh, this this one so try to you know use these these three links and uh, you know fill uh, you know your uh, you know uh, details if you are interested to become a member or facilitator or a coordinator because you know it should not we have, we should not stop here okay we have to uh, you know progress okay so progress uh, you know with collaboration so that is what my intention so uh, please uh, if you are interested uh, please respond to that so in future we'll have you know we'll have uh, uh, interaction okay so in other platforms okay so any questions any questions or uh, clarifications or suggestions uh, you're most welcome There is no more question. So I express my gratitude to our honorable speaker, Mr. Venkateswamy, or to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And also, I would like to extend my gratitude to all esteemed delegates of today's session for their presence and contribution to make this session a great success. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. So, next I hand over the session to Dr. Vantana Reddy for validatory function. Ma'am, uh, before that, I just want to thank uh, uh, Dr. Uh, George Rafael and uh, Dr. S. Sugandhi and uh, Dr. Arif Tegu uh, for, uh, for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. Okay, so thanks a lot. Uh, all, uh, thanks a lot for all the particip participants for your uh, you know, uh, suggestion, questions, and you are, you know, uh, patient listening. Okay, thanks a lot. See you. Have a good okay, day. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, it was a very interesting session and a very wonderful session. So we can see that um, there were there are many people who have benefited out of it. We are starting the validatory function now. And uh, now uh, I would request the participants to be with us till we uh, have concluded the session with the vote of thanks. And now I formally start the valedictory session.
Sir, um, could I get the presenter's access? Oh, that's ma'am, I'll give it to you. 